everybody, it's Az and Leo back again, bringing you another battle mode game with Time of Legends, Joan of Arc. Thank you for joining me, Leo, again. Thank you, Az. Um, if you haven't watched our previous video, we did do an initial battle between myself and Leo, where we went, to in, went into a bunch of detail about the battle mode, how everything gets set up. This time, we're just going to dive into it, but if you're not familiar with battle mode, you can head to www.mythicgames.net, where we have the battle mode rules, and we'll also have the live, regularly updated army list, so you can build your armies as well. So, what we have here, we've got the map set up, we've got our initial deployment areas selected, and we're going for an assassination objective. So yes, we, we are, we're playing uh, an end of the war mm -hmm. army. Yep. L last time it was yep. uh, uh, early, early war. Yep. So at the uh, end of the war, uh, I still play the French, you still play the English. So this time, I'm first player, mm -hmm. but that means you got uh, to choose the map yeah. and you choose you chose a map that will help uh, your yeah. infamous bowmen yes uh, but at the same time i chose you know it was tough for me to choose yeah. where i would deploy mm -hmm. because i knew if i let you deploy mm -hmm. over there you could have uh, your bowmen on the on the on the yep. uh, on the okay. mountain uh, which which allows you to reach Every, everything mm -hmm. in yep. the map because it adds one hex to your range so yep. you would have a range of three but on the other side uh, choosing my my side here allows me to reach you earlier yep. and I, most of all uh, I have uh, my rally point big is, is yep. a big deployment yep. yours is small so it might yeah, this, this little small four unit error could end up choking me quite badly depending on how long the game goes on. We are playing again another skirmish. So this is just a 1500 yes. point army list. We are playing five rounds again with a two, two threes, a four and a five. Yes. A two, three, two fours and a five. You guys can keep me right. The rules the rules may have changed between when we filmed and when this goes live. So they'll always be living. So this, yeah, this map is kind of okay for me. There's some plus points and some down points. So we'll go through our armies. And yes. And then we'll, we'll go and get into this one and, and start fighting. So I'm playing with John Lancaster. I'm actually running two heroes. Uh, John Lancaster is going to be very much a supporting character for me. He's really going to be giving me the opportunity to defend better. Also potentially uh, get my hands on more legend cards. And if I can uh, uh, level him up. I'll be able to use him as a rally point, which is something really interesting to my playstyle and what I can potentially do to stay in the fight. Second to that, then, I've got just a regular old sort of default hero, and he is who I'm going to be nominating as my assassination, my, my champion, basically. So he's going to be your assassination target. So this is the target. For That's me. your target. Oh, I wish it was John of Lancaster because <sighs> I hate this guy. He's the guy who sold John of Arc, you know, so I wish, but maybe I'll, I'll kill both. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I've done that is hopefully he's not going to get too involved in fighting. I can keep him well protected and he has the tough special rule, meaning is less likely that he'll die, which is important. I then got two units of foot knights, two units of halberdiers, one unit of sergeant arms and three units of just standard English bowmen. No mounted units this time. So I'm playing quite a small force. I'm not expecting to move so much. I really want Leo to come to me. I'm not predicting to go out too, too far. Well... And the good thing for you, if I come to you, is that you can kill my only hero in the army because, again, I chose a very strong and powerful and costly mm -hmm. hero, costly hero, which is Lair. Lair is the the mountain of <laughs> uh, of Joan of Arc. He's like this big guy uh, who can charge. He c the more uh, wounded he is, mm -hmm. uh, the stronger he gets, like the Hulk. Also. And that's, this is such a cool choice for this particular objective. If we're playing King of the Hill or we're playing yeah. um, Destruction or Territory Control, not maybe as important, but because I'm going to have to wound him, he's going to slowly be getting stronger, and I'm not very happy about how that's worked out, actually, the random roll of the objective. Yeah. Uh, then I have two mounted knights. So yeah. this time uh, our army lists are more... Uh, yeah, more realistic to what people think yes, is 100 years' work. Yes, because you have... Your bowman, yep. you don't move a lot, and I have like, cavalry and yeah, and strong yep. knights. And I'm so gonna I take have, the strategic yeah. hill. Yeah, <laughs> again. So I have two mounted knights, yep. uh, gentry mounted knights, a little less uh, strong, but almost as good. Yep. Uh, two sergeant at arms, so very very strong yep. uh, units, uh, and they have retaliation, yep. which I know you hate. I hate it. But I've got know. a bunch of retaliation myself. This yes, time, you no? do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have. Two halberdiers, so same. They have hal uh, they're not as strong as the surgeons at mm -hmm. arm, but they have retaliation. Yep. They're very strong defensively, and they have plus one uh, white dice against uh, uh, infantry. infantry. So and that's yeah. all I am, so that's a bit worrying. And finally, I have oh, B. 
the elite of uh, mm -hmm. the knights, the impetuous knight. You will recognize them with a white uh, base. The impetuous knight have retaliation. They are impetuous. That means they always yeah. move forward. Charging this in, yeah. Charging and uh, follow up. And they have two red dice in attack each, just like the mounted knights. They are just as strong. Cool. All right, so let's have a quick look at the map. This is where we're going to be battling over. And Leo, you're going to be going first and deploying first. So I have these four hexes to deploy. Mm -hmm. um, and because I want to reach you, I'll try and be as close to you as possible. And because I'm going first this time, you yep. won't be able to, to send, well, to, to position and get ready. Yes. For the big so thing. I will try and, and use my fastest guys, yeah. probably this. Not too surprised. I'll this. mention as well, I did have a few points left over. So I have gone ahead and spent um, some of those points on a single legend token this time round. And um, we're again using the tactic uh, deck rather than the mythical one because we're playing a tactical battle. Uh, but of course, the mythical one, if you're playing with any mythological, mythological, mythological armies, you'll always play with it. I am really sad to see you grouping up on such big, big areas. That makes me very nervous. So yeah, I can get rid of this yep. after I'm done. Yeah, there's definitely some One, roots. two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Oh, wait. Oof. Entire army nearly in a single hex. Wowie. Yeah, well, they won't be able to stay because the next ones are yep. three areas, so I will have to split them a little bit. I'm not going to say too much here because, yeah, I'm nervous about exactly how you're going to come at me. Um, I have mentioned that we haven't done it just yet, but there are two civilian tokens on the map. You notice there is one up here with this, this forest, and there is one down near Leo. Oh, yeah, we should have done yeah. that. Well, yeah. uh, oh, yes, we should have, shouldn't we? So yeah, let's do yeah. that first let's before do you that finish first. your deployment. Yes, so. Let's get a random. So we'll do, um, do it again, do it on camera so people can see what's happening. We'll do the one down at your side first. If you just want to pick pick one of those. Oh, that's the citizen. Okay. And then I'll do just one at random for me. Oh, yeah, do, yeah no, go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah, you do that. Uh, so up at my end, we've got the apothecary. I've never played with the apothecary, I don't think. So the apothecary is going to allow you to have the heal ability. And once per round, if you discard one legend card, you can gain a legend or an experience or draw a replacement legend card. So you let you cycle through your triggers. And the citizen? Oh, once per turn, you gain one experience, which is yeah. very good. So it will pop Very good, one experience, once per turn. So if it's once per turn, that needs I need to uh, activate him. But yes. I know I can get some uh, experience yep. points there. So, you know, it, it changes what I, I, I want to do. You're going to leave a unit behind to go and chat with a citizen? Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that extra experience every turn um, can help pay your upkeep. It can help level up your character. I do not like the idea of a level up. You know, up I wanted to initially to put them here yeah. because I, you know, in the tree, yep. I can... But there are trees there. I simply yeah. need to move, so I will do. And this. this is an important thing for me. So for anyone that doesn't know, if you have a forest area with a tree, specifically if it has the, the, the tree inside, you are able to re-roll one of your defense dice. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's exactly. Um, so it. against me, when I want to pepper in lots of um, bowman attacks, that's going to be a bit of a pain for me. All deployed? Yes, all deployed. Okay, my deployment is not really going to change too much based on what you've done. Um, I very much need to control my rally point over here i don't want to lose this i thought about moving up to this hill and kind of forcing you to come across but i think this is the area of the most tightly con uh, compacted hexes so i'm gonna continue with my original thought which is to get some bowmen on some hills up here like so so three units of bowmen initially i might go more though uh, i want to heavily protect them best best i can so they're vulnerable from two directions uh, let's see. I'm going to put my hero with them, the one that you have to assassinate, because if you get to them, he's probably in trouble already. Um, halberdiers probably want them ready with any way your infantry is going to come. So if your infantry is going to come through the forest, and this is the advantage of deploying second, I have a little bit of extra advantage to knowing exactly where Leo's going. Now the downside is I'm leaving this oh, apothecary. Is this, is oh, this? that's actually outside my deployment. Sorry, forgive me. Um, so yeah, I'll put them just. Um, yeah, I was, I was absolutely advan over advancing past my lines. Um, do I want to send a unit after after the apothecary up here? Um, is he really worth it? So I can trade legend cards. 
I can potentially get legend cards with John Lancaster as well. He has an ability that says when you draw at least one legend card, you draw one more. Which means I could find You know when tokens. you're on the hill mm -hmm. and rocks? Yeah. You, when defending, you gain the retaliation skill with one dice result chosen after oh. the defense roll. So I'll get that when I'm here? Yes. Yeah, so I, oh my goodness. That could be very helpful. Very helpful. I have retaliation with my halberdiers already, which is great. Um, so I'm definitely keen to keep them there. Um, so I have three more. One unit of sergeant arms and two units of foot knight to deploy. I think I need to keep my rally point clear. So I think I will be popping them just here, like so. I oops, I've actually just realised. There we go. That's better for you guys at home to see. Sorry about that. And yeah, I think I can reasonably risk John Lancaster to be up with these guys. So I'm not not able to clump up as much as Leo has, but this should be relatively strong on both. So I, yeah, I'm going to stick. Oh, this is tough. Depends. It all depends on whether you're going to get charge off in the first turn. Yes. It can be so important. Well, those War Council cards could really be very impactful here. And I'm basically saying that I'm not going to go for the Apothecary, which is sad because I think I'd quite like to, but I don't think I can afford to split up. I don't think, I, and I think generally having everyone grouped together as tightly as can to f at least take the initial wave of French attack is going to be important. So I'm going to stick with this. Feeling a little nervous. That's a lot. You have a lot of heavy troops in that. I right. do, but it all depends. You know, if we, if we, if we have a two, it could be a slow two. first turn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, two, but that's two for you as well. So, yeah. okay, we're all. Are there? Oh, do we have anything that at the beginning of the turn? I don't think no, so. No, I have no start of round or start of turn stuff. So, should we get the first? Let's do this. Three, oh, three. Not very good. That's all right. I'm not too bad against that. And then three war council cards. Stop thinking about your attack already. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so we have either two legend tokens or two experience. We have draw two legend cards and get a legend token and then discard one of them. And then we have another one of those, which means we'll just draw a new card to replace it. We have a straight up reactivation. You are first player this time, Leo. Oh, I did the reactivation. I very much considered the legend cards and token right up until the point that reactivation appeared. And I want it for my bowmen, so absolutely taking the reactivation for me too. Quite surprised you took it. Actually, I thought you might go down the experience route. I could, you yeah. know, because uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I don't want to throw it. Don't want to throw anything into your plans. Just hmm. An extra activation is is huge, especially when you only have three. Now, like here is an absolute monster. Every single time he's taking wounds, he's going to generate more and more attacks. And as you level him up, he can get even more vicious. The downside to Lahir, though, is he has no command. If I'm able to... Well, except if he... He levels up, he levels which is up. why I thought you might go the experience route. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm able to split the units away from Lahir, I can soak up Leo's orders. Well, you know, I can't reach your your bowmen and your other guys on the on, on the other oh, yeah. uh, hill, but I can get to those with, with an extra point. You know, one, two, three, yeah. four. Yeah. Now that's if you don't... Well, I can't uh, interrupt. Oh no, you can't interrupt. Oh. So you're gonna put yourself straight in? I think I No strategic movement, no? No, because then I fear so much your bowmen yeah. that... Uh, the only will, downside is you're probably gonna have to go to four units. And you're going to be going against a lot of retaliation. I know. You got this? I got faith in I you? I got this. You got this, okay. I got this because, you know, I will do a lot of damage as, as well. So. Oh, yeah, for you sure. You know, so... Pff, I'm hoping just to take you with it me. It might be a <laughs> short battle. Yes, it's good. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's go yeah. for it. What's okay. the plan? So, oh, who, yeah, who do I have? Uh, who do I go with? Unfortunately, no charge here. Yeah, you have lots of charge, but no charge order, unfortunately. If you had drawn that, that would have been incredible. Because yes. Lahir also has charge, which means even though he's not mounted, he can move an area and then still attack into an area. So a charge uh, order, if it come up in the War Council cards, would have saved Leo two York so activations. I don't have any, any command, right? I don't. Yeah. This is, this is the, the weakness of Lahir. He's a combat machine. If I can survive this initial last i'll have a chance if i so can't. they are now in the forest and here is your he's your commander right so if he goes down you win 
Oof, you are bold. Yeah. You are bolder than me, Leonidas Vespasiani. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now. Yeah. Carrying on. I can't. Uh, you know, I won't be at full full power. So I mean, you're going to be rolling eight red dice. Uh, <laughs> I mean. Still good. Yeah. Oh, this could be. This could be bloody very early. But you will be on a hill, which is good for me. Actually, I realize I have retaliation on all these guys anyway, so it's not that big a deal. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm going to use my <gasps> yellow die, my yellow activation, my just as a normal one. It's bold. It favors, it favors the brave here. Uh, fortune face it favors the brave. So let's see it. So two red for the here. Two plus, a, plus a white. Uh, plus a white? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus a white. What's the white coming from, just so I understand? Well... Uh, what's it, what's it say? Oh, it's a wall. Sorry, I didn't even see it on this card. Oh my goodness! Like, here's such a machine. Uh, and then you've got all your mounted knights. So yeah. you've got how many of uh, each? Oh, it's just mounted. Also, uh, for the mounted knights, it's two two red each. Okay, so four red, and then you've got uh, the gentry mounted knight, a which a is a red and a black. But with the black, and it, because there's only one, I don't need to to send. Well, the separate. black and the red. So you get the black oh, and the red yeah, yeah. separate. Yeah. Oh uh, so, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. A shield means a push. So let's first start yeah. with those. Uh, so two, two shields, shields, so two, two pushes. pushes. Yeah, I'll just pop those in for you. There you go. So there's two pushes. Yeah. Okay, so now all the big hitters, mounted knights and Lahir, six reds and a white. Oh, oh there's quite a few shields there. But yeah. There's quite a lot of kills as well. So three kills and four shields. You no, know, it's incredible. With the red, I have three shields with my red dice. It's one chance out of Do six. Do you want to reroll you know, it? It's very early to use it, but definitely potential. I think we. I think I should. I think too much is 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 uh, is here. And three dice. Yes, yeah. I will reroll. Okay. Oh wow! This could be brutal. I could be about to lose a lot of stuff. So we have one That's shield, better, much yeah, better. a kill and two disrupts, much better. Two disrupts and a kill. Yeah, and this, is another looking, shield. this is looking pretty bad. I could be about to have a lot of dead units. If they end up disrupted, I'll be happy. I think that's the best case I'm looking at now. Okay, so John Lancaster rocks in with two yellow and a white. Um, I then have two units of foot knights, which are both rocking a black each. Uh, I do get to, now when defending, they cancel a push. So is that one per unit or just one overall? Because I have two units of foot knights in there. One per unit. One per unit. So those two pushes will actually be gone. When defending, cancel one push with the foot knights. And then I have the sergeant at arms. So all of these have retaliation. And the white dice, if it rolls a blank, will be a shield, thanks to John Lancaster. So I am not... <laughs> it's going to be... <laughs> This is hilarious. It's a slaughter. <laughs> this is hilarious. I didn't roll a single shield, not a single shield, which means <laughs> we'll do mine first. I have a kill. A maybe kill, you want to do reroll. A kill. Maybe you want to see. No, it. I think this is actually unfortunately going to have to be the way this goes. Uh, a kill and then a disrupt. So basically, I'm going to lose all three, both my units of foot knights and my unit of sergeant arms, all going to be dead. <laughs> And then John of Lancaster is going to be disrupted. <laughs> but, but every single one of my units has retaliation. Oh, no. Which means you have four disrupts and a push to allocate yourself. So the first disrupt will go as a wound to Lair. Yeah. Which means now I gain, uh, oh, I gain a white dice and attack. I gain one white dice as attack. Yeah. Oh, I, how many kills did I get? Did I give? Uh, you got three units. Three uh, units. So. so that's three experience because of uh, gain one experience each time an enemy unit is destroyed in an attack involving Leia. And you'll so get three more experience, right? Because of just the normal, the normal experience? Absolutely, yes. So. Oh, so now... If you wouldn't mind putting John of Lancaster in the infirmary for me. <laughs> okay. So you've then still got three disrupts that have to go on to... Well, you've still got... So that you took one disrupt. And that leaves yes. you with three disrupts and a push, so that means all your knights are going to be disrupted. Yes, they so are. They all go to the infirmary. I hope I will roll good this time. I really hope you don't. And then you've got one push that still needs to go on till I hear. 
Okay, uh, so, so I decide push? if I take a wound or if I get pushed. Yeah. I think I'll get pushed. I'm just going to push you straight back to... Actually, I want to get you away from your guys. You don't have command, though, but I'm going to push you back to there. Okay. So I'm just pushing uh, Leo back towards... Away from me, essentially. Um, okay, I lost then three units, which means I'm going to lose three morale. You know, I could decide to level up. Before because your activation finishes, basically? Before my activation yeah. finishes, cool. during my turn, yeah. I have enough uh, experience yeah. to activate. Nice. I love I it. I think I will do it. I will... Uh, oh, can I change this push, actually? I just realized something terrible. What? I definitely want to push you there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do not want to push you into trees. Well, <laughs> That's a I terrible, was... terrible plan. <laughs> terrible plan. Not because, yeah, I can reroll. Especially with leveling up as well. My goodness. So I level up, and I have to choose whether I go the holy or unholy. You know what? I think I will go unholy. Because for each wound placed on this card, I gain one red dice. Oh. And when attacking, I get two experience for each destroyed unit. And how much does he increase in health? He was three health before? And he's now four. Oh. So, so he's I got three wounds still. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I have all. Oh, yeah. So I pay. Uh, yeah, it was four experience. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I still have two experience. Nice. So he's definitely going to stay leveled up for a while. Yes. Nice. Okay. So <laughs> it that was crazy. It was Lair style. So that he ran, was ran because he, he hates John of yeah. Lancaster. He doesn't care about it. But yeah, but that was his style, but very, very, very brutal. I am very glad that I did not make John of Lancaster my <laughs> champion for this. Otherwise, that would have been the quickest game. <laughs> Well, ever that was incredible. he might rally he might rally he needs to rally but vengeance hopefully will now be mine so yeah. my turn yeah this is quite straightforward for me i'm not expecting anything too special here i'm basically just going to activate my bowmen straight up first of all so that is four units of bowmen oh sorry three units of bowmen and then two units of halberdiers i don't think i'm going anywhere with them uh, what abilities has you leveled up uh, lahir got he's got terror too so Oh. Terror means you can't attack me, but just on a melee attack. Well, yeah, so it doesn't mean I can't attack, it just means I roll one of these for each terror. So you've got terror two, yes. so we'd roll two yellow. No, we won't because you are attacking me. Uh, yeah, I if, I, if I attack you in melee, I'll attack, roll these yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. And any pushes that come up prevent melee units from attacking. So you don't have retaliation. No. Interesting. I don't have retaliation. You don't have retaliation. Oh, and on the other one? Oh, on, oh. On, the, on the holy side, he does. So you uh, went there. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I could really be very brave here. This could be a very quick game if I... Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, if I actually use this activation, not just to shoot, but also to send my hero and the two units of halberdiers yeah, out, you if try they come me. at Lahir, I have to do three wounds. But I have to kill you, right? It has to be a kill, yeah. not... Yeah. And the thing about halberdiers is, white dice on attack red and white on defense they are best when in position and counter-attacking yeah. retaliating i'm not sure if i trust myself to roll well enough not sure if i do so first thing i need to declare everybody's actions so first thing i'm going to do simply is oh i want to go for it but if i go for it and i feel my hero is in the open vulnerable undefended oh boy I'm not going to go for it. I'm a chicken. <laughs> no, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> right, so halberdiers are going to move. Uh, we'll go to here. And they're going to get led by my hero, who's just a little standard hero, leaving the bowmen behind. The bowmen will attack first then. So they're going to attack from here until I hear that six yellow dice. Come on. Come on, my bowmen. You got this. Put pushes, pushes. I want pushes, pushes would be good. I want to bring you closer. There is four, four shields and two pushes, yes, and all of those shields become disrupts. Yes. Oh, Leonidas. That's going to be tough, because he doesn't defend that well. Oh, Leonidas. <sighs> oh, here. This was bold. We knew it was bold. Red and white you as defense. you got to see a shield. Two, two shields! <laughs> Oh yeah! Wow! What's with all these shields on the red dice? He says. Okay. So, so, so yeah, I cancel these. Can, so it leaves you two disrupt and two pushes. So the two disrupt will be wounds. Yeah. 
So he's only down to one. Now, what happens with two pushes now? He only gets one push. Okay. So <coughs> I'm absolutely pushing him yeah, I think. right in. Oh, gosh. Hello. I think you're going to win. <laughs> it's okay. It's it, right. You played it like here style. Play it like, I played it like here style. Go on. Yes. I'm I think. Reactivate my bowman. Oh, with the bowman? Of you sure? course. What better way to take. Other than John Lascant, Logancaster just like. Psh, well, psh, psh. Okay, other, should the, I tell you something? Yes. They can't kill. They can't kill. Oh, if you, if you kill. do that, the worst I can have is be disrupted. I'll be, uh, I'll go there and I can come back. That is brilliant. <coughs> so if I go in with my halberdiers, I'll be rolling. Uh, oh, they get plus one white against foot knights. So there's two units. Will I get two whites or just the one? Per unit. Per unit. So I'll be on four white, then the white and the red from the hero. You could kill me. I think you're, I think I've got to go for the kill, right? Thank you, that's very kind of you. I will. I, <laughs> thank you for ensuring that I didn't just mortally wound here, but instead killed him dead. Yeah. You're a good man. So, activating this area, going to send the halberdiers, led by my hero, who I put no faith in at the start of this game. I'm saying I'm just going to throw him to the side. So, let me grab a red and a white from a hero, and two base whites for my halberdiers, followed by two extra whites because they're fighting against foot. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. There's only a single kill in there. Yeah. Just a single so kill. If I just I realized white, white dice can't kill. I just realized. So, <coughs> so that's okay. So if I roll I one shield, roll. this game is not finished. It's not over. And if I don't roll any shields. White and a red, yeah. Oh, boy. Whoa, whoa, don't take my kill. <laughs> so you're looking Wait, for a shield. On. A shield. Yeah. One shield and this battle will continue. Okay. Otherwise... Oh, one shield on the red dice as well this is why i wanted this one <sighs> now what does that leave you with then that leaves me with so you just one disrupt so you he will be disrupted yes, oh. he is disrupted but it's not finished drat um okay. everything could come back if i'm lucky with uh, my rally you know i haven't i haven't lost anything not gonna lie not happy about that leonidas not happy well I'm going to just call my turn there oh, then. Do you want to follow up? No, I'm definitely staying. I'm not. Yeah. I haven't had to deal with the swords of your impetuous knights and your sergeant at arms yet. I'm not coming at them. Um, having lost two units of foot knights and sergeant at arms myself, my morale can't take any more hits. So. Oh, yeah, because if you lose another one, two, three, four. Yeah, six more morale. Actually, sorry, I forgot. Oh, yeah, because it depends on John Lancaster. John Lancaster's worth three oh, himself. If he dies, if he you dies, lose another three. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, we never know. So I'll finish my turn there. I'll keep a normal activation and a reactivation for myself. Okay, very good. So... The Doom dice, accurately named, spells yeah. Doom. Would you like to go first or second? No, you will go first with John of Lancaster. <sighs> I need this to rally. I'm almost... I have my re-roll potentially if I need it. Your oh, re-roll re is right. gone. Yeah, Here we go. Yeah, yeah. And you are going to need it! He's dead! <laughs> or... Unless you you want to save your reroll for something else. Oh, I don't. I just he should be wounded. Um, using a reroll and a doom dice, which is still just another one and three, is really horrible. But it means, oh goodness. Well, this is, he's just one of your heroes. It's, it's not the one I have to kill. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna spend my reroll on it. This and you're could gonna reroll another this another could death. Be, this could be really bad. This could be really bad. That's a death, isn't yes! it? Yes! <laughs> doom die spells doom. So John of Lancaster is dead. So I lose moral three. victory. So I lose, lose three, three morale. morale. I've only oh. got three left. And he died in a fight involving Lair. So uh, no, he died in the infirmary. He didn't die in a fight involving Lair. Involving Lair. Come off it. He was off in the barracks, bleeding okay. out. All right, yes. No way. Okay. Right, Doom Dice. I tried. Doom Dice, come on. Show me some. Because okay, if sorry. Lahir dies here, oh, yeah. I can win. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I really, I'm really hoping to turn this frown upside down. Okay, yes. So you want to build the tension and do it the other way around? No, you tell me. You choose. Yeah, right, do, the, do the, gentry, the, the, the Gentry Knights first. So they're, they're this the, one. Yeah, Gentry Knights are coming back next round. God. Uh, let's see if I can this bit closer we can try and see this because this is okay big. there we go then we've got normal mounted knights 
are still disrupted. Come on. Second unit of mounted knights. Come on. Yes, right, two experience. Actually, I have nothing to level up with experience anymore because John Lancaster's dead. But anyway, Lahir. Look at you war look at you warming up the dice. <laughs> this this is you've no reroll. This is one and three oh, I dead. Don't have any re -roll one and three rally. No! Yes! <laughs> he rallies! <laughs> yes! It ain't over. Uh oh. <sighs> this is dreadful. Now you've lost two morale. Yes. Let um, me put it here. But still. You see, you've lost way more than I have. Yeah. So it was a bold move, I, I, I will admit it. But you, things are, are you sure you haven't now. got any Irish blood in your family? <laughs> are you sure? Uh oh. Okay, next run card, Leo. Let's see what comes up. Oh man, four versions. That's good. That's not bad. So I can basically just say goodbye, foot knights. Goodbye, Sergeant Arms. <laughs> goodbye, John Lancaster. It's the hero of halberdiers and bowmen now. <laughs> we got this, lads. We I only have one last. We you didn't know, need them though. anyway. We didn't need. Oh, you're scummy, okay, Leonidas. So, this uh, okay. Discard one. You don't have no. We, we discard, don't. discard one legend card to get two experience or two legend tokens. Oh, look for a war council card of your choice and okay. resolve it, and then reshuffle the deck okay. or retrieve your reroll token if it's not in your possession. Okay, interesting. And a blue one. Oh, it's going to be a difficult choice. Here so we with this, you could basically have anything any you want, you want, like even a like a reroll or an interrupt or anything or a cavalry thing, or we can get our reroll uh, token back. <sighs> oh, this is brutal. It's the, it's the risk of taking units that can't kill. You can play the disrupt game, but the disrupt game means you run the risk of the doom dice. You've got to accept that. You know, and I, 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 I have to. You need the activation, do you? The, ter the terrifying thing is Lahir now leveled up. You have to pay your upkeep, don't forget. We'll roll two white and two red, so making four dice. For every wound he has, he rolls oh, an extra red, know, meaning he's rolling I know what I'm going to do. Three extra red. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and finish this here. It's it's one last stand. Okay. So if I get the, the, the green charge, charge thing, yeah. because, oh no, he doesn't have charge on this one. No, you leveled him up to the terror side. Now you could choose. You could choose not to pay the upkeep, but his three wounds would mean when he leveled down, he would, he would get disrupted, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I could still go and charge with Lair, just himself. And but if I kill your hero, I, I, I win. What happens if I kill the hero at the same time? It's a draw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of okay with this plan. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to simply uh, get the blue one, you know, okay. and just flat. Uh, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> I want to see what your plan is. Uh, you need to pay your upkeep to keep Lahir leveled up. Oh, yeah. It doesn't there, make a difference, really. No, there's something that... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Because if you have the blue, you can attack me from a distance. I wouldn't do that. I told you my plan, but if you s simply push me, I won't be able to do what I want. I don't have the charge. Maybe I shouldn't pay the upkeep, go back, but go down. You'd, but you'd be down to three wounds, and you have three wounds. So I would be You dead. have to pay it. You know, I should have chosen the other side and not be that greedy because yeah, I had charge chose, on the other one. You chose one. the darkness. And then I could charge. And if I can charge, I can be in protection with others against your, your bowmen. So you're going you're gonna to win. 
<laughs> yeah, let's see what's happening. So we have my two units of halberdiers with my hero, who is Leo's target right here. We have my three units of bowmen with my rally point. Leo has his rally point, where Lahir has just returned. To the right of him, he has two units of halberdiers. Then we have two units of... Why did I move them here? Because they were going to go get the citizen, but then you kind of change your mind because a little bit. Because you, went, you got blood in your eyes and ran right at me. Two units of impetuous knights, two units of sergeant at arms. What does... I shouldn't... Had I left them here, I would have a cannon fodder. Yep. And here I'm just vulnerable to your... You could just... Well, yeah. neither of us have it's command. Okay. Now All right, uh, I will still do, do that. So pop your one experience in just to make sure you stay I did. Oh, oh. No, I did. Okay. Right. Um, okay. Right. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, please continue. Oh, you don't interrupt me? No. Really? Mm -hmm. you want well, to I mean, if I interrupt you now, I want, to, I want to give you a chance to regroup, guys. You know, get them together. I want to make it interesting, right? I want to give you a chance to have Lahir's bodyguard brought back because he's such a big Jesse. No, please do if no. you want to. No, I think Well, it's you know, you're not going to kill me. What you could do is simply put me back there. No, and that's the thing. You're so lucky on the dice rolls that it feels a little wasted. Uh, I mean, yes, I could attack you now, but is that just boring? How many orders do you have left? Four, one, two, three, so one, two, three. So then you could just attack with them anyway. Yeah, I am. No, I'm quite okay just to to wait, I think. It's going to let Lahir potentially regroup, but... Oh, go on, I'll shoot you then. Since you're since you're so intent on waiting, I'm just going to shoot Lahir. Are you? <laughs> yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I think it, the strategically it might have been better to wait, but uh, let's just pepper him with arrows because it's No, no, fun. no, please do, please do what you want. I want to make him into a hedgehog. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's two disrupts and a shield for another disrupt. So no kills in sight, but can I disrupt him? Yes, I can, because you can't defend that, can you? You want to get two dice? And a shield. One shield. Okay. You've got these magic shield rolling red dice. He's back there. Now the problem is now, and this this is kind of why I was really hesitating, is now you still got four orders. And we can see a one, two, three, four. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But that was your choice. I know, I know, you I know? I hadn't because had if you hadn't done that, yep. uh, I would have regrouped there. Yeah. And I wouldn't have I've tried to attack you this yeah, you, time. Exactly. I would, have, I would just I, uh, Yeah, you would have sat back yes. like a cowardly mountain. Okay. So he's back there, so we'll see at the end of this round if So you're not coming in now or are you gonna come in now? Of course I'm gonna come in. <laughs> there we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted to see more action. So impetuous knights, two units of sergeant at arms, two units of these guys all together wield six red dice potentially. Okay, they're coming. Here they come. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's no. lots of action in this in this scenario. I well, uh, in this, I yeah, haven't been feeling very this. lucky this scenario. I must admit. Okay. But, but just before you attack, I'm I'm hoping. I expect all my guys to die here, but. My hero has tough, meaning even if you kill him, <laughs> if you kill him, he's got tough. I can roll a black dice and on a shield, he will survive. You know, it's what I'm hoping, because right? Because he doesn't like tough because we've played. Uh, Joan of Arc is tough. Yeah, Joan of Arc is tough, and the you know the amount of, the amount of times you've kept units alive with tough, I now need it to work for me. So let's see it. You have, but you don't have your reroll, so you'll no, have just one neither chance. Neither do you. No. So to keep me right. I think you should be on six. So uh, I have one sergeant at arms. That's yeah. one red. Uh, I have. Oh goodness! No, I don't have halberdiers. I have oh, two impetuous knights. That's yeah. four dice. So six reds. And I have. Yeah. Yeah. So two, two, and two. So two, four, six. Uh, sorry, two, four, five, six reds. Yeah. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's yeah. it. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I have two such. All right. Yeah. Put this forward Six dice. Well, this is big. This is. Let's see all those shields you've been rolling. Okay, a few shields in there. I see two at least. So two kills. Three, two kills, two disrupt. Okay. 
that's not no, the that's end of the not world. A, no. So in defense, um, I have a red and a white. Can I have? Uh, I need two reds and two whites. So I've got two, two, red. two reds. So two whites there. So these are halberdiers. These have retaliation, and then I just have a single, a single white on my hero. So these have retaliation. Come on, retaliation! What a bloody battle this will be! Oh yeah. No shield. Oh yes, but they all have retaliation, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. So these, these all have retaliate. Can you push when you retaliate? Yeah. I think so. And then I have the final, uh, the final uh, hero needs a shield. Needs a shield really big. Needs a shield really big. Wait, wait, badly. wait, wait. Shield, 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 shield. Uh, when defending retaliation, when defending against melee attack, this unit can apply kill, disrupt, or push results. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Yeah, because an older version didn't have push, yeah. but we actually ended up updating yeah. it. This, if this is a shield. Oh, two, two shields on this dice. Come on, shield, 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 shield. So how many? You have one shield only. So I have one shield to cancel one of your kills, which means I have a kill and two disrupts coming my way. One kill goes to my hero, and he takes a single wound. The two disrupts go to my two units, so they will both get disrupted. Leaving my hero standing atop the hill, ready to defend. You have this for retaliation. One kill... To disrupt, disrupt and a push. Okay, so the kill can go either to the sergeant at arms or the impetuous knight. Yep. It will go to a sergeant at arms, yep. obviously. Oh, when defending, cancel one push. Oh, so that push is gone. Nice, well remembered. Yeah, uh, so one sergeant at arms is killed. Yep. And I get one experience and you lose one morale. I do, but I have plenty. <sighs> we'll see. I have three left. You have. Seven left? Yeah, you just do it plenty. Um, and then I need to assign to mm -hmm. disrupt. Yep. Oh man, what a bloody battle. Units absolutely dead everywhere. Okay, so one unit of impetuous knights gets left. Unpushed. <laughs> one okay. unit of knights versus one hero and one wooden standing on top of a hill. And you're all activationed out. But they have he has retaliation. Okay. But you're not you're a coward. You're not gonna attack him, I know. Well yeah, Alan's just gonna shoot him with bows. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, I still, coward. that's still an attack. That's, a coward. that's still an attack. <laughs> so I'm gonna activate my bowman. Uh so three units going into here for sure. Let's see. Oh, that's not enough dice. That's three, three more. So two disrupts and a push. Do I even need to roll? How many roll? dice do they have? These are the impetuous knight. They have one dice, so, so they're, def they're disrupted. disrupted. <laughs> um, I will. <laughs> do I just stop there? No, you could you could attack here. I could reactivate an attack over there because because I'm on a hill, I have that extra one range. Because it's not a direct fire, I can arc all the way over yeah. to two units of halberdiers. Yeah, Leo, you're full of good ideas today. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't want my victory to be uh, because of I let you do a stupid mistake. Well, this the, the, the here decision was such an awesome one, right? Because I, I was like, do I let him regroup and let draw this out, or do I try for the Lahir <laughs> and put it down to another Doom dice? Yeah, that's the nervous. It could thing. end at the, at the ne in the next round, yeah. at, the, at the end of this round. So we'll see. So three more units of bowmen, arcing shots over into two units of halberdiers. Uh, so that is two pushes, uh, one disrupt, and two shields, which become two disrupts. Oh. So do I really need to? Yeah, maybe. Uh, these are halberdiers. Yeah, white, uh, red, and white. Uh, on defense. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Of course. You've been rolling lots of shields on your. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on your reds. But surprisingly. I know I'm not going to be uh, lucky all the time. So some shields. No. No. No shield. shields. So double disrupt. Oh, look at all. Oh, now I don't know if we currently have a rule for this, but you don't have a unit on the board right now. Sassy finger is out. Yeah, I feel like okay. I feel coming. like I should like default win right now. No, 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 <laughs> Leave your no, comments no, below. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not finished. They're coming know? back, right? You know, 
when they are in the in the in the infirmary yeah. that means you don't know what the, uh, they are They're, going yeah. to be they, they could, could be just recovering they could be just dying <laughs> you don't know just and dying. this will be decided at the end so this yeah. is now when we know what happened to them they're not they haven't been you know, put in a in another dimension. You know, they're just. Here oh, on the I thought the infirmary was another dimension. Oh, thought they had oh, time gauntlets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my last uh, activation. Um, I, I have three more basic orders. And I, I'm sorry, four more, and I can only keep three. So I'm yeah. just wondering, is there any activation I could do that makes sense? I was thinking, can I run and get the apothecary? If he was a healing unit, which he is actually. <laughs> I've just realised. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really send my hero all the way across the map Good. to heal? And then come back, maybe? Or heal? That's a lot of activations to use, isn't it? But I don't have many units left to activate, do I? So, <laughs> no! Oh, that's... Oh, my goodness. So, one, two, three. And I could heal and move. No, because... Yeah, I could heal and move. Oh, boy. Is it worth one wound? It could be worth that one wound. Well... You know, I would do it, no. but you... I'm going to... Because you said you would do it, I'm definitely not going to do it. Okay. Such, such a tease. <laughs> I'm gonna, so I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to restore three, so I lose an order. It's the first time I think that's ever happened. I think it's the first time in any game of Joan of Arc I've willingly well, given could, up you, an order. You could have gone to the apothecary who can mm. heal you. It's ridiculous how much I have belief that you're going to rally everything, and this hill will do more to save me than that apothecary. <laughs> well, you could come back on this hill. Nope, nope, I'm done, I'm done, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. <laughs> right, end of the round. I'll do my dumb oh, okay. dice first, will it? Because it shouldn't take me too long. <laughs> well, okay, okay. So I've got two units of halberdiers to roll for. Go ahead. So, oh, that one is a death. I have two <laughs> morale left. And, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You need more okay, I, I gain an experience. Yeah. And they rally. Oh, finally. So one unit of halberdiers of mine will join okay, the battle. Okay, so this is an automatic rally. Yeah, from last time. And now you you call. Okay, so let's we'll go with easy things first. So let's you can rally everything, so it doesn't matter if the order. There's no strategy because everything can fit in. Yes, because we've got eight spaces. Yeah, spaces, otherwise I would choose. Yeah, which exactly. One, but so we'll, let you. let's do your mounted knights first. Dead. Two oh, experience. No. Two morale. Two morale in the cemetery, please. Let's do your two units of sergeant of arms. No, sorry, where's your? Oh, your one unit of sergeant of arms. So these guys yeah. up front. Yep. Yeah. Rallies. Uh, let's move to your impetuous knights. Two units of impetuous knights. It stays one, stays where they are. It stays disrupted. Second one. Comes back next turn. Halberdiers, two units thereof. One rallies. Second one. Comes back next turn. La here. Let it show very clearly that you made the decision not to have your reroll back. <laughs> Come on. Come on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta we gotta do this for this, don't we really? There we go, get it in. There it is. Good luck. No! Yes! What the? Yes! Yes! Oh! oh. <laughs> Why won't you he die? Comes back. Yes! Why won't you? Die? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Don't know what to say. <laughs> right, next round. Okay. Next round. <laughs> Oh, five! Oh, well, I wish you were here. Uh, I wish I was. <laughs> five! This is. And my hero's on his own on a hill. <laughs> Why could this be the two? <laughs> okay. I have eight orders that I may never, never get to use. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Okay. Let's see. These are big. I need yes. to see an interrupt. Heal a, oh, heal a oh, wound oh, oh, oh. or charge. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, trade legend tokens. Uh, I don't have enough for uh, any of the four activation orders, but neither of us have enough legend tokens. Or trade normal activations for a reactivation, interrupt, or trade of tokens. 
I have already chosen what I'm going for. Have you chosen what you're going no. for? The fact so many of your units rallied to save, to be with the here again is massive, 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 massive. Okay, a bit of strategizing. I love how we're both in deep, <laughs> deep thought. It's very, it's not easy at all. No. You know, there are two things that are interesting for me. I assume you're looking at the charge. Yes. Or a heel. Yeah, ex exactly. Right? Yes. And I know, well, you have several things that could interest I you. I do. Because you could also heal. Yep. Or you could get a an interrupt. Yep. Or maybe, yeah, an interrupt. I think. It's, it's heal or interrupt for me, and it's going to very much depend on what you do. Because if I heal, one, two, three, four, five, right? I, I can still reach you. Yep. Yes, you can. One, two, three. And if I have to charge, I could charge you with... Uh, Are you going to use your bowman or are you going to retreat? <laughs> it's literally exactly my thoughts. Leo is in my head. If I do take an interrupt cube, I uh, order. I very much could potentially interrupt Leo's turn to move my hero to join the bowman or join the halberdiers in a defensive position, or I could rely on my bowman to split up, push, and hurt. Do you have? Do you have? Oh, he doesn't have command. He does not have oh. command. Losing John Lancaster in that first turn was really crippling. Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. So if you retreat, which is something you could do, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I could charge. And if you if you take an activation token, you're guaranteed to get in, even if I move away, which is the key, I think. Because if you take a six order, whether it's a charge or not, you're guaranteed to be able to engage. Yeah. The trickiness is whether that guarantee is worth the risk of taking six bowmen dice. You have good defense. I have uh, good defense. So you've got Sergeant Arms now, which are rocking on our red. Oh no. So you've got three red and a white on defense. But well, you've got your mounted knights with a black. So yeah, I mean, if you stay together, it's, this is tough. I definitely want to react to whatever you choose. So everyone at home, what would you choose right now? If I lose two more units, or my hero, of course, I'm done. Oh, if you, if you kill two units, so two bowmen or a bowman of oh, yeah. my morale so, is broken. Because, you know, getting one wound... The other thing is, you could do nothing, and you have two guaranteed units coming back in the next round. But after all your bravado of being a chicken... <laughs> and the, the downside to that is, eventually, you probably have to cross this. Because if you go around this way, you can keep six units together the whole time. Oh, five here, unfortunately, because of this. If you go through here, it's four anyway. So not this turn, but next turn. You yes, but I can only save three of those. You know? Yeah, but then you have two units rallying. It's, it's, it's tough, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't have a... I mean, I, I'm sitting on eight orders right now and very little to do with them. Pushy for a choice, I think. Yeah, it's very tough. Okay, I've played like that since the beginning. I'm going to try again. Uh, Third time so the charm. I will go for the green one. <sighs> okay, so that means no matter where I go, you can get me. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. I know what you're going to do. Yeah, I, 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 I think I have to trade in a normal activation for a blue. Not only to give me less yeah. normal to save, but because I think I will need it if I stand if I if I stand any chance of not dying this turn. So you take the, the I take the interrupt. I trade I trade a normal activation for an interrupt. Okay, sir. Yeah. Let's see it. <sighs> I 
Those, that black dice on that mountain knight unit might literally be the making and breaking of this attack. Yeah, you don't interrupt. No, you can keep going. You can keep going. Please continue. Because my, my choice is either I interrupt to move him back to one of my two points so I have more defense and more damage to you. If I go back to my halberdiers, mm -hmm. I potentially retaliate against you, potentially even taking out the here again. If I go back to my bowmen, yeah. they, they add three white dice on top, yeah. which means I can potentially even defend what you do to me. Yeah. But the fact that Lahir is adding three red dice, he's rolling, what, five red dice and two white on his own? Yeah. I think the only option I have is to interrupt with the bowman. But I will wait until you're a little further because I can split you in a more painful way. I think. So, which... This is very dense. Now I am going to interrupt with the boatman. They've, they've held me true, non-stop, they've done well. I'll be putting six yellow against a black, three reds and a white or something like that. Three reds, two whites. Yeah, it's not fantastic odds, but I need to. If Lahir makes it to my champion, it's almost certainly death, but tough is still a thing, so. That <laughs> I just rolled. Just pushes. Five pushes. Yeah. I mean, that's not terrible, actually. It's just not really what I wanted to see. Um, okay. Red, red and, and white, white for here. here. A black for Mountain Knights. Yes. Uh, what else you got? Foot Knights? Uh, Sergeant oh, no. at Arms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sergeant red. at Arms is a red. Halberdiers is a red and white. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's so, so three red, two white and a black. You've got some good odds to spend a couple of this. Oh. Just one shield. One shield. One shield, that's it. One shield. So four pushes? Yeah. Okay. Do do what what you want. Four pushes? Yeah. Four pushes? Oh my. Um oh. I have to, I, I have to, I have to push them. I can't leave anybody there. I must push. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that giving me the best chance? So these are the weakest on offense. Next strongest, no, next strongest, next strongest, and then like here. You've got four orders left. One, two, three. You can still get in. Can't stop you getting in with these pushes. F oh, man, five pushes. Can't stop you. Any way I can make this worse? Nope, that's the best I can do. I can, I think, I can just force maybe like here and the halberdiers to come so on their own. This time I didn't tell you something you could have done, uh, but I will tell you. What? You could have pushed me all of them here. Oh, and you've already activated it. Oh no, we'll do it. I automatically just went straight to this in my head. Let's do it. Yeah, because you never could have, you couldn't have reactivated it. Would have been stuck. No. I would have been stuck, but yeah. that doesn't mean it would have been really better for you yeah, because they no. would be grouped. Let's do and it. And then I would have that the next turn to do it. I've got faith in my hero surviving, and then I'm going to Muller Lahir. Famous last words. Yeah, bring it. So Let's one, see it. two, three. I need four to reach you. Yeah, with so with just Lahir. Yeah. This is, is the it? thing. Lahir rolls so many red that he's guaranteed to kill this hero. No, yeah. no. Yeah, he is right. But no, he he is. But I've got tough. If I make the tough roll. But you see what you could have done. You yeah, say but could, yep. that would have lasted one more round and I would have I'm rallied. happy yeah, I'm happy You're to take the risk. That? Happy with the risk. I appreciate you saying, but no, I'm super I didn't happy. tell you because I was hoping you wouldn't notice yep. and I let you choose. But nice. honestly I think yep. this was another option. Yep, I like it. Okay. So I'll take this away. Yep. Just you and the halberdiers going together. No. Oh, you're going to send Lahir on his own? Well, what's the point? Uh, the point is, let, so I'll give you an option now if you like. Yeah. If you activate here normally, they all move up, and then you activate this one time. 
Whereas if you charge with Lahir, let's say, for example, I do make my tough roll, you could then attack again with Lahir. So you get two rounds of attacks with Lahir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's such a, a, a finesse thing, the difference oh, between... Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's only because of tough. Without tough, sending them both in together, one attack would probably be fine. But with tough, giving yourself two chances might be the way to go. That's Subtle but important strategic thing to keep in you're mind. You're right. It gives me another chance if, if it didn't go well. Forcing do you, two tough Yeah, rolls. well, yeah. Uh, so actually, like here charging ahead and leaving the halberdiers behind is actually... Yeah, it's actually cinematic. Uh, but you have retaliation. I do not. Oh, I do because I'm on the hill. I only roll one white though. Oh, at yeah. best, at best, I disrupt you. Yeah. One and three. <laughs> Which would be funny. Okay. If I d if I disrupt you, and survive with tough, <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> so maybe you do take the halberdiers as a soak then. Oh, I don't know now. Cause I'm on the hill, I get retaliation for one of my dice. I only roll one dice. Oh, what, do you have a white dice? One white, yeah. Two blanks. Two. Oh, shield, you have one chance uh, out of three to. I don't one blank. Sorry. And you could move me also. So I push, two disrupts, two shields, yeah. Because, yeah, this retaliation thing, do you have retaliation on when defending it? Gain the retaliation with one dice yeah. result chosen after the defense roll. Yeah. So do you take Lahir on his own, hoping for the best, or do you take Lahir and the Halberdiers and get one roll instead of two, but don't run the risk? You have them to soak up the white dice. Because oh, how interesting. You have one chance out of two to do nothing with yeah. your retaliation. Yeah. But I, ho I hope you guys, ever, everyone watching at home is enjoying this because we're enjoying this a huge yes. amount. There's a lot of little finesse rules here and, and opportunities where there's different strategic choices. I um, hope you'll forgive us a little bit for thinking on the turn. You're right. So these are two in interesting things. But uh, is oh, there he doesn't have charge anymore, actually, because you upgraded and done holy. Oh, so you don't even have a choice. OK. okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're going okay. to have to go in. Okay. Oh, well, that makes it easier. That makes it uh, easier. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt. I'm just joking. I don't have interrupt. I just... <laughs> I hate that. Your, your, your face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I hate this. Okay. All right. Okay. My hero versus Lahir. One-on-one -on -one combat with the Halberdiers behind because no one cares about them. Yeah. Well, they are just cannon fodder. They are. Uh, they really are. So... So usually it's two white and two red, but you have three wounds and you're unholy. <laughs> so you add three more red dice. So five red and two white for Lahir. And the halberdiers will get one plus one against uh, cavalry. So that's two white. So against infantry. Infantry, uh, infantry sorry. Okay. All around me are familiar faces. Please don't knock over the dice tower as you roll this. Oh my goodness. Funny, if you hadn't rolled a kill, that would have been funny. Wow. So that's a kill. It's uh, not a terribly... Two disrupts and three pushes. Four pushes. Wow, that was... Yeah. Wowie. So, I mean, the strange thing is, I'd rather you kill me here because of tough. I don't want to be disrupted. <laughs> because disrupting means going there, whereas... So I've got two shields. I really don't want a shield. I really want to roll a disrupt. Yes, because if you roll a shield, you, you have a risk of dying instantly. Yeah. Whereas if I roll a disrupt, I can... Oh, I can disrupt your halberdiers. Damn your halberdiers. All right, here we go. One, this has retaliation because I'm on a hill. We see a disrupt. So you will disrupt Perfect. my... Halberdiers. And I will take your kill. So are you dead? You're dead? <laughs> <laughs> so tough kicks in when you take a final wound with a kill on a shield on a black dice I will survive this is huge it's 50-50 three black my palms are sweaty I've got clamminess going on here okay alright there it is folks Okay. Looking for a shield to keep it to stay with my hero alive. Anything else? And Lahir will slaughter him on the hill, and Leo will take the, uh, the assassination victory. No! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Note to self to edit that volume later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, what a game! No! You, know? you would have been stuck on top of a hill with just. Hedgehog! Oh god! Yes! <laughs> <sighs>
Oh, it's... good game, sir. That was that was epic. You were brave. You were bold. You charged in. You were you had no fear. Three times you charged in, and the third time it, you did it. It paid off. Oh wow! Oh, well, so good. Yes. Yeah. That's so you would have had really me on morale, good. on morale, that's and assassination. Second game and second very very interesting yep. game. You know, so I shouldn't spoil what happened no, no, in the first not, game. No, But I can tell you, it was just as uh, intense and interesting. Yep. And this one was very, very, yeah. uh, completely different. I did I not say. expect you to go so all out in the very, very, very first turn because you had such a large amount of specialized heavy units. I thought you'll grab the citizen and you'll kind of group together and try and stay in fours and sixes of bunched up heavy units. You charged out. We had that massacre on the hill. Like, apps both sides just what massacred. What did you roll? For what? Uh, uh, with your... Uh, oh, no, you, you yeah, you missed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, I mean, because we lot both sides took huge damage yeah. there. Um, and I disrupted Le here twice. He came back twice. twice? <laughs> and he charged. You know, he really, time. that was the, the La Hire uh, style, that right? That was absolutely it's, brilliant. It's, uh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> cool. Well, look, thank you so much, folks. Look, let us know your thoughts below. If you haven't checked out the battle mode or the army list, you can head over to mythicgames.net where we have the army list and everything that should now be available. They will be a living document. You may see changes and different rules updates and different army list updates from what you've seen here. We'd love to know what you think. And for now, I'm going to go, yeah, lie down time for me. That was stressful. That was stressful. <laughs> we'll see indeed. you guys soon. <laughs>